Hey beauties, it's Danica and I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how I pluck the lace of this wig, bleach the knots, and how I achieve the baby hairs. And as always, keep watching my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, you guys, so right here I'm just showing you guys how beautiful the frontal is. I did get it from herimports.com. If you did not check out my last video, please be sure to do so. Um, so right here I'm just showing you what it looks like before I do bleach the knots. You see those dots, the black dots? That's what you want to go ahead and correct. And so I'm just going to take those baby hairs, push those back so they are not in the way when I do start the bleaching process gonna take my Clairol BW2 powder and 40 volume developer and you're gonna go ahead and mix that on up you want to get a thick consistency of the bleach mix so that it doesn't bleed through to the other side of the frontal onto your hair and so I use about two scoops of the Clairol powder to fully cover the lace and I'll show you the, the consistency it should be. Right there. Okay. And so now you're just gonna go ahead and take your bleaching tool brush and start applying the bleach all over the lace. Make sure that when you are applying the bleach that you don't press down too hard onto the lace because the um, the bleach, it will bleed through to the other side, like I said, and then you'll have to re-dye the hair and you don't want to have to really go through that process. So just use caution when you are doing that. <clears throat> You want to make sure that you're applying the bleach from the bottom of the frontal to the top. And the most important part of a frontal lace wig is that is the hairline. And so when you are applying the bleach, make sure that you go up a little past the hairline to ensure the flawlessness of it. And um, when you do that, it just makes the lace more of a more transparent. And you do want to make sure that you're wearing gloves because the um, bleach, if it gets on your skin, it'll cause a little nasty rash and you don't want to do that. And see, this right here is what I'm talking about by going past the hairline. And there we are. Oops. Okay, and I'm just showing you guys what the bottom looks like. You do want to check it frequently so that it doesn't cause any over-processing. Now, I did get a little bit of bleach on those baby hairs, but most of those will get plucked out. So, that's really nothing to be worried about. And I just used some foil to cover it up to speed the chemical processing up. And so, at this point, it's been about five minutes and I'm just checking it again. You want to do this frequently again so that you don't over process. Looking good. You can kind of tell when the dots have or when the knots have been bleached. And so overall, this process took about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm going to take the Shimmer Lights shampoo before. This is what it looks like after I rinse the bleach off. And so it kind of looks a little orangey. The Shimmer Light shampoo, it will cut, it'll cut down all, all the brassiness and kind of lighten it up. And so that's a reason why you want to go ahead and get that. And this is what it looks like after I do apply the Shimmer Lights. So 
some of the hairline is a little blonde but that is just fine oh i'm sorry this is what it looks like after you apply the shimmer lights And then I just put it on my mannequin just to see what it was looking like so far. It does look like I'm going to need to go ahead and bleach those. Um, I'm sorry, pluck the hairline. Although, um, this is how the hairline came with the frontal, which looks pretty good. And the hair texture, I just, I'm loving this hair texture. And I just can't wait until you guys see the full wig. Okay, and here it is. This is what the wig looks like. The bundles and the frontal have been installed. That was a line of demarcation between where they both have met. And I just added those um, braids on the side. I had to do that so that the hair would stay out of the way while I was um, up sewing in the frontal on the cap. And so, yeah, this is what it's looking like. It's not um, washed or anything. You no know, water has been put on it and... Yeah, so in the comments, let me know what you guys think of it at this point. Um, not much manipulation that you do have to do to this hair. Gives, gives off a lot of natural vibes, you know? Okay, and now we'll begin to prep the hair for plucking. I just sprayed some water on the hairline there just to push everything back. Make it smooth, get it out of the way. I add some mousse just to help hold the hair in place but not you know not using gel to gel it down but just to mold it into place brush those back and so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take like a rat tail comb and go ahead and part some baby hairs out a really thin line is what you'll need you don't need anything bigger than that and this is what will play as your baby hairs. Once you have done that, you will begin plucking right at that part. Now there is no specific way that specific way that you pluck, but you are um, going to want to make sure that when you're tweezing that you use the smooth side of the tweezers and not the pointy side because you will and can puncture a hole into the lace and then you'll just be having to deal with that and you don't want that. We want longevity out of this wig, you guys. I do recommend that you um, pluck the hair while it's wet just to ensure that you don't over pluck um, just because like when the hair is dry it, tend to, it tends to not really show you how much of the hair you actually have plucked out so make sure you are paying attention to that. In this process it took me about 30 minutes. It's really tedious work. Um, you just want to make sure that your hairline does it, doesn't look so wiggy, you know? Plucking gives it more of a natural look. No one's hairline is super thick, you know? So that's why you want to ensure that you pluck the wig. Some wigs you um, that come, some don't need the plucking just because of how the frontal does look. But yeah, that's a story for another time. <laughs> And you can pull some hair back and part it back and pluck behind that part as well just to, you know, give it a more of a natural look. That's all. Again, so about after 30 minutes, I was done plucking, just uh, kind of wetting the hair up and getting it ready for me to now start placing baby hairs into it and you'll see how much hair um, came out from after me plucking it wasn't too much see not not too much So what I'm going to do right here is um, I'm thinning out the baby hairs. You don't want your baby hairs to be super thick. Um, 
and you do that by just plucking a little bit of the hairs out just thinning it and that's what I'm doing right here Then I'm going to take an eyebrow razor. Now you can use scissors or whatever. I just like to use the eyebrow razor because it doesn't cut a straight line. You know, it, it gives it more of a ragged look. Applied some mousse and now I'm going to begin to start swooping them baby hairs. This part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, just keep swooping them baby hairs to your liking. Um, it's not as easy as it looks just because you have, you're making baby hairs and they're not natural. So you really have to play with them. Again, just taking my eyebrow razor, some mousse. And swooping those baby hairs. Now, when you're using mousse, you can never use too much mousse, to be honest with you. It's only going to, you know, help the hair, if anything. But you can't ever use too much mousse. Thin those baby hairs. Cut them with your razors or scissors. When you are cutting them, I wouldn't cut them so short in the beginning. Um, just because, you know, once they're cut short, you can't grow none back <laughs> so I would wouldn't cut them so short that way you have room to play with them so you guys know the drill pluck razor them off cut them off and then you go swoop mousse then swoop This little brush I got here, I got it from um, the hair supply, of course. Shout out to my girl, Catherine. She kind of inspired me to go get one. But I can't say that I really like it that much. It just seems like I need to, like, break it, break into it, you know what I'm saying? Then bristles are just too... They need to just put in some, be put into some work before I can actually use it yeah so i definitely like that other side of the baby hairs so i had to redo this side get it right get it tight and i'm pretty much gonna call it a day with these baby hairs i mean what else can you possibly do to them you know they're only gonna get so perfect you know And, you know, I'm pretty much done at this point. I'm so excited on how they looked. I did wrap them up for a couple minutes. Didn't take too long. And they set just fine. I'm loving how big the wig looks. Um, you can put heat onto this hair. You can straighten it and it'll come back to life. I used the um, hot comb right here just to kind of... I wanted to give it a more pressed look on the root and then have those curls popped out and then I also had to um press the back of the hair to cover that line up like I had showed you guys earlier and this is what she's looking like you guys and I was just so so proud of myself you know what I'm saying this wig came out super bomb if you guys agree 
put a 100 down below emoji in the comment section because it's popping like it's ready to wear right now like you ain't even got to do anything to it you know what i'm saying yes girl okay right here i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like wet and curly just took my spray bottle full of water and um doused it down i actually just damped it it wasn't super wet took my brush there brush the curls out just to um detangle it really and check out the bounce at the end of the curls like this is bomb and so yes i use the um shea moisture conditioner this is what i use on my natural hair you guys so if you want to go to the store and get something for your weave then to each his own but i'm just gonna use what's in the cabinet already and so yeah this is the final product you guys what do you guys think do you like the baby hairs would you like preferred it to have been a straight wig definitely let me know what you guys think please like comment and subscribe Tell your home girl, your girlfriend, your baby mama, your grandma. Tell them all to come check your girl out, okay? Can you do that for me? <laughs> okay, you guys. Yeah, so this is what it's looking like. This is the night before. I did leave the scarf off and just let it sit all night. And this is the final product. So I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.